I've just received this high frequency solid state Tesla coil in the post. Now, unlike other Tesla coils, these things operate at very high frequencies. In, in the case of this one, 15 megahertz. And what it does is it produces a very hot plasma flame from the tip of that electrode. And the plasma flame is about um, 11,000 degrees Kelvin. Well, that's the uh, electron temperature anyway. Um, what we've got here is basically a primary coil that consists of about six windings and a resonator coil here which has about maybe 150 to 200 uh, windings <coughs> excuse me um as we can see here the uh the end of the winding that that winds around the electrode has sort of turned black and that's because it got so hot that the enamel just um melted off uh, eventually and um if we have a look here at, at what what's in this uh this unit it, basically it's just that uh circuit board over there and the main thing that we're interested in is this this black uh mosfet here now this mosfet is is, is where all the magic happens because it produces the rf energy at 1.5 megahertz and it requires such large um, heatsink with a, a fan. In fact, this is a more expensive um, option because it comes with a fan. Um, and even though it comes with a fan, I, I found that after just a few seconds of operation, this heatsink becomes too hot to, to touch. So what I recommend is leaving this switch on and turning the, the system on from the mains rather than all oh, right. Oh, okay. Uh, let, let actually let's do this. Let let's turn the switch off for now, and um, I'll show you why I'm doing that. But before that, let's talk about the power requirements. So this thing isn't easy to power because it requires a minimum of thirty six to forty eight uh, volts. Now I've got the spec sheet here. Unfortunately, the whole thing is in Chinese, but we can see some numbers here. So HFSSTC. Um, Input voltage, minimum 36 volts to 48 volts, 1.5 amps to 2.5 amps, and it operates at 50 megahertz, as mentioned. Now, it may be easy to find a high voltage power adapter, but most of them top out at, at, at 1 amp, which is a, a problem. But anyway, um, I found a trick. Um, <clears throat> this here is a generic power adapter for charging electric scooters. And it puts out 48, uh, sorry, 42 volts at 2 amps, which is well within the range of what we want. So right now I'm going to turn the uh, mains power on. And by the way, before doing that, please turn off all electronics in the room because I've got PC here. And when I was operating the, uh, the Tesla coil earlier, the uh, electrical energy caused the USB devices to disconnect and, and all kinds of stuff. So you don't want to corrupt your data or anything like that. So shut everything down um, now the light there is green and i think this is because the current draw at the moment is is too little so the the unit thinks that it isn't actually plugged into anything um, anyway coming back to device to the device we can see that the fan is now spinning which is a good thing because that allows us to to run the device uh, unpowered uh, and cool cool things off so we can um, cool off the MOSFET and the heatsink after use. Um, right, so if you're not familiar with Tesla coils, uh, please take note of a few uh, safety uh, uh, precautions. So first of all, get a gas discharge tube, like this fluorescent tube or neon lamp or anything like that, and bring it within close proximity of the Tesla coil. This will tell you whether the coil is actually energized or not. And in, in this case, we can see that it isn't energized, right? So now I'm going to flick the switch on and we can hear the fan spinning up to very high RPM already. Anyway, I'm going to turn this switch on and that LED tells us that it's energized, but really to be sure, take a dis gas discharge tube, like a fluorescent lamp, and you see that it lights up because of the e electrons coming off the system. So this tells us that it's energized and we should be careful now, especially with a high frequency Tesla coil like this because the, the, the plasma arc is extremely hot. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Now, I've got a light bulb here that I'm, doing the, I'm just going to use to strike the arc. 
Okay, so now we've got a self-sustaining uh, plasma arc and this plasma arc apparently burns at a uh, temperature of, of an electron temperature of um, 11,000 degrees Kelvin. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to multitask here and what I've got here right now is um, obviously a, a pair of insulated Milwaukee pliers um, and I've got a uh, paper clip that was used in an earlier demonstration and as you can see the tips all melted off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how hot this plasma flame is because in just a few seconds it's going to melt it's going to melt the uh, the paper clip even even further and we can see it sparking already you can see how hot it gets and, and just uh, keep in mind that this whole system can be powered by uh, by battery because it only requires 36 volts DC so that's an incredible amount of um, heat energy that we can produce from a, a low-powered DC source. And we can see that the electrode is now glowing red already. And that's because it's, it's so hot there that, um, uh, yeah, that the electrode itself glows red hot. And that's why the, uh, the windings have uh, turned black as well. So let me just turn this whole thing off because it's drawing, it's getting really hot now. You can see that LED is red. All right, so what I was saying is um, the the windings that, let me see if this is cool enough yet. The windings down here that hold the electrode in place, they are actually the same copper windings that, that wind around the, the cylinder. So obviously they were the same color as this, this one here before, but after using it for just a few seconds, the uh, the windings, Kind of went went up in smoke as the enamel um, burn off, and that's why it's now black. But anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to demonstrate t today. Um, so if you're interested in getting one of these, just go online and search for HF. Um, sorry, HFSSTC, which is uh, mentioned here as well. So high frequency solid state Tesla coil. That's what you want to search for. Um, you can get them with a power supply included, but that will increase the, the, the weight and in the cost of shipping. Um, obviously, most of these come from China. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.